more than likely you'll come to a point where you're actually going to need to create yourself a calculated field or also called a computed column or computed field. As, um, and what that's going to allow us to do is it takes a number that we've got and we're going to actually do some kind of mathematical uh, calculation to it, like increasing it or decreasing it by a certain percentage point. So we're going to go ahead and do that here in this video. And instead of selecting all, I'm just going to narrow down my fields to two of them so that it's easy for me to work with and see what I'm doing. I'm just going to say the title and I'm going to also say price. So I've got a title comma price and I'm going to go ahead and hit run. So what I'm going to look at here is actually increasing the price 10%. And so what I'll do is just create another column. I'm going to go ahead and use price again. So I'm going to go ahead and type in price. That's the base uh, field that I want to use, but I'm going to increase it by 10%. So what I'll do is just multiply it. And in order to increase something by 10%, you need to multiply it by itself, which is going to be 1, and then add the 10% to it, which is going to be 0 0.10. So this is an increase of 10%. If I hit run, you'll see that my field has now been increased by 10%. And I may not want it to look like this. This kind of looks a little... Um, hard to see or or basically may not be easily readable so I want to go ahead and just call that something else and I'll just call that as um, and we'll just go ahead and say increase and I'll rerun this and so now it's called increase and you'll see that it's been increased by 10 percent now you may also want to say to yourself that I needed to decrease maybe I want a sales or a discounted price that uh, I can actually see as well so I'll discount this by something like 10 percent so I'm going to go ahead and put another column in here and we're going to go ahead and use price as my base column to use. That's where I'm pulling my data from and I want to decrease it. Instead of decreasing it by 10%, let's go ahead and try something like 15%. And if that's the case, and I need to start at 100 here um, or 1 and then decrease it by 0.15 which is going to leave me with 0.85 left and that's going to be a decrease of 15%. And so if I run this you're going to see I've got a new column that's been decreased by 15%. And that doesn't look good, so I'm just going to call that one as discount and run this. Now, something to keep in mind, these two fields that I created here, these computed columns or calculated fields, they are not stored within my table anywhere. These are just kind of on-the-fly fields that I'm creating as I'm working with this. So keep that in mind as we're going through this. And so now I've got an increase and decrease within my prices. And so what we have to work with here in our calculated fields, is we've got the um, asterisk, which is going to be used for multiplication. I can also use addition and subtraction, as well as division. And so I'll show you division, because that one may, um, just by looking at the symbol to figure out what, how to divide things by, I'll show that one in here. I may want to do something like half price. And so if I did price, again, as a field, as my basically the base as far as where my information is going to come from, and I'm going to divide it now by 2. And this will give me half price and so I'm just going to call this one as half and we'll just call that price and I'm going to run this and so now you'll see that I've got a half price column that was created as well based off of my original price and so this allows me to work with this and so now a question you may have is well can I take a field that I've just created as a calculated field and then do math on that one and the answer is um, no. I've, I've tried every way I can think of to do that. Like for instance, if I wanted to take half of the increase price uh, and pull up a column of that, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'll have to do the full calculation on my fields. And so if I wanted to do half of the increase price, what I would need to do is I would still need to do the same calculation as the increase price, which is going to be price times 1.10 and then what I'm going to need to do is actually divide the whole thing by 2. And so I'll put the division by 2 there. And I'll run it now. And you'll see that I've got a half of the price of my increase. And so I need to type in the full calculation. And when it comes to doing the math, you can actually use parentheses to change the order of operations that you may be doing. So for instance, then this field is not going to make sense at all. But if I wanted to do something like price plus 1.0 uh, 1.10 and then divided by 2. What I could do if I hit run now you'll see that the price ends up being 1554 and that's because it does the division first and then adds it but if I chip, put parentheses in here as well I can go ahead and do that for my order of operations and make it do the addition first and then the division and I hit run you'll see it changes my price and so this is using the um, basic arithmetic commands uh, within my 
SQL language in order to create ourselves a calculated field.